All right. What's going on, everybody? We are live here on the 10th episode of True 100 with me, of course, your boy, AMA, the demon in the Pittsburgh Steelers hat, Rick Savage, and our new co host who finally decided to show up. That's for our new co host, goddamn. <laughs> oh. Our normal preliminary talks. Hope everybody got registered to vote uh, for November the 28th, as Donald Trump said. Uh, <laughs> you already worked. Too bad. Yeah. So, you voted for Trump if you didn't register. Pretty much. Yeah. Or anybody else you voted for. But, we are here. We have made it to 10 episodes. We haven't killed each other yet. Me and him. It, it, it may be in a process. It, it is a process we'll bring, right now. We're bringing her in now, so she's probably going to kill us. After Ma this. Maybe. This, yeah. this is the 10th episode. We are, we're happy here. I got to keep leaning up. Dang. We got to get a new camera, too. Like, this is it. Or, yeah. We're going to get a, or I'll get a, uh, something with a lens on it. I can do this. Well, before we <laughs> did this, didn't I say? Dude, we're not about to it. get. We're, we're, really? I handle it. I digress. I'm just here. This know? is how we. This is how people get killed, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just right here. Right here. The tenth. Look, this is the tenth episode special. Okay, we have made it ten episodes. We have not killed each other. We have made it through tough topics like football, and you claiming Antonio Brown. I won, I won that. Topic, you you way. barely won that. Let's I not. Know, barely. You, you barely. You lost you when barely. you mentioned T.Y. Hilton. Hey, considering the fact Whatever. that Ty is still is still good, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm listen, cool. He's listen. better than Odell Beckham. Listen, he's better. We're not. Look, this is not the tenth. This, 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 this is not the tenth. Her. Right. She's this is not the tenth. Look, this is not what it's gonna be about. Okay. All right. We've made it. What week is it? before we get off that topic? What week do the Pats play the Steelers? That's the week we gotta talk football. I have no clue. Oh, okay. I will figure it. I out. have no clue. He's gonna figure it out. But that's the week we'll talk football. So I don't know if you know too much about football. You probably yeah. don't. We'll, we'll just give you yeah. a script yeah. like yeah. three quick. Well, <laughs> they know who we are. We, we have been so inconsiderate. They know who we are by listening. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Tell us a little, tell the group, you know. About yourself. Yeah, about yourself. Your interest, why in the world you were crazy enough to join us. <laughs> Go ahead. We're all we're all ablaze and listening. Um, well, I actually wanted to have my own like YouTube channel, mm -hmm. but it didn't work out well because one, I'm not a fan of being on camera that much. It oh, didn't work. Well, I had my iPhone. That's I didn't have an actual camera. What is, what so I was like, this isn't going to work. I didn't have a proper setup. Um, I did a couple videos and then I just fell off. So she had a couple good I ones thought. too. <laughs> it was kind of entertaining. <laughs> And like the one she, he never bought Starbucks coffee for her. You can't. She won't talk to you <laughs> if you bought Starbucks coffee for a female, and she takes that the wrong way. Oh, uh, she's not gonna talk to you. I, I never <laughs> got the link. You know, I, 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 he was supposed to give me the links to this stuff. I never I got showed the link. Him the video. He showed me he's a more, video. <laughs> he showed me he saw, one he video. Half the videos, though. He's, I think I did two or three. He saw he saw her name and everything like that. He that was it. That's like, <laughs> that's like, he could have been Ladies and gentlemen, that's like, hey, She's obviously a nice girl. She's not going to reject you. I'm reject just saying, but that's just like being like, hey, yeah, you know, hey, man, I showed you her face. Like, dude, what else did you want? <laughs> like, I don't really know what else you wanted me to do there. Like, you're supposed to. It's an introduction to me. Like this, we're everybody's coming together. I'm supposed to see. I'm supposed to know. She knows what she's getting with us. <laughs> she knows it's going to be bad. She knows it's going to be horrible. See, like right, right now. I don't think it'll be horrible. Yeah. Oh, yes, it is. Because we we're still <laughs> nice right now. Like, we're still being nice to each other right now, and we're not even out of the prelim talks. We never get through the prelim talks without arguing. Week twelve, November twenty third. Mm -hmm. That's how you guys bond. We we bonded a long time ago. And it is... <laughs> I don't know how we. Well, let's not get on that topic. But he, honestly, for real, if you knew me, you knew him. You'd be like, "There's no way." There's, there's no way this works for <laughs> ten years. There's, there's no possible there's, way. There's no way that's gonna. Work. But it it, it it works. It I don't know how. Preacher's son, and me. <laughs> um, he's the cane of the group. The <laughs> devil's favorite demon. Uh, yeah. Yes, that was a WWE reference. <laughs> so I'm not. Yes, that was a WWE reference. That goes to show you. Nice guy. Ass ass. Yes. Yes, sir. Well, I thought 
push us aside sometimes, so. Pause. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah that, we didn't, I played a pause game right. a lot, so yeah, you're, you're going to have to learn to ignore that if that annoys you, because yeah. yeah, I've been playing a pause game probably since high school, so. Yeah, that's good. I, at least I changed off of No Homo. And he just said it like this. Yeah. I'll be honest, Our I PC to, group is just not going to appreciate this. Yeah, we're not tech savvy people here at the show. That's that is true. true. But so much for our prelim talks. <laughs> Welcome. We're going to get into our, our our major topic here today, and today's topic is double standards. I've been waiting a very long time to finally have a female co-host. It. I have literally been waiting for this. So. I've been wanting to talk about double standards since the Teacher Bay incident. The teacher, you oh, don't know what teacher I'm about to say. Yeah, if you don't yeah, know what yeah. Teacher Bay is, then yeah. dude. Are we talking Atlanta Teacher Bay? Yes, we're talking two of them. I only know the Atlanta, the oh, fourth yeah. grade teacher. I, what's yeah. the second one? Because she's clearly somewhere she, in like California. Clearly, she wasn't as big as the. Oh no, no she <laughs> wasn't. No, so then there, there's no need to bring her up. Thank the, you for your the, contribution. The uh, the uh, Atlanta Bay one was like 12 years of slaves, and the other one was like birth of the nation. Yeah. One got more attention. Than well, birth of, we're not going to get it. We're not talking about movies. <laughs> this is how we go off. This is right there. It was an analogy. It wasn't meant for you to go off. <laughs> it, it happens, though. You know this is going to happen. But anyway, we have double standards. And, and the reason why is because, like I said, I always wanted to get the female perspective. Because it is very difficult to keep our women viewers and listening and listeners, you mm-hmm. know, intertwined because... We're two dudes, so we're only going to come up with what two dudes can possibly think of. And I so, try to play devil's advocate good. with it. I, I, I really try to look at it from both perspectives. I yeah, really we need the camera it. guy. Yeah, I, really because I need to zoom in right there on my face with that, with that one. Yeah, I really try. No, he just plays the devil. Um, I'm gonna quit calling him that today. Please do. <laughs> Why would you be a minister's son and let the devil in your house? Oh, don't worry. I pray. Every every day, I, I call my dad. Dad, Rick has been here. He's like, oh, no, I'm playing. I'm playing. He's the yeah, he 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 anoints every every crevice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm the devil. You need to bring my kids. The whole the whole house is if if the heat got turned up, I'm just gonna boil in this mug. Sure. But double standards. What? Since like I said, well, I'm putting you straight to work. What do you feel are some of the biggest double standards? Not just, you know, men, women, though, that is, like, a big one to me. What do you think? Like, double standards. Like, what do you feel are some of the biggest ones that go on today? Um, Body counts. Men count women's body counts. Women can't count men's body counts. Mm-hmm. It's not, and even if they do, it doesn't work the same way. A man gets, like, a pat on the back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've always been That's honest about one. my body count. <laughs> I've all, I've never added three to my body count. <laughs> to me, that's just not cool. My number isn't cool already as it is. So hey, <laughs> say eleven. Go ahead, continue. And well, let me see. I guess I mean appearance. That's always. I feel like there's somewhat of a double standard there. I mean, I don't know. I feel like when women get dressed up, it's always like we get the wrong type of attention depending on what you wear. And it's no, like... Please, please throw, that, throw that one in there, please. <laughs> please throw that one in there. Say that. Please, please, please throw that in there. Thank you. Um, what else? I feel like men still think that women belong in the kitchen. That's all we're good for, is amongst other things. Well, I, I, I feel that. Wow, I hope she's not watching this. Wow. <laughs> wow. I'm just kidding. She, wow. She but, last night. I was just joking. I'm, I'm, just joking. I'm, just joking. Just joking. Sorry, Jazz. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's, it's too late. You can't yeah, do that. You, sorry. You know, don't yeah. put the shrimp back in the freezer. <laughs> Any other? Um, not that's coming up. Just the, I guess the main one would. How about pay? Mm. True. But I guess it depends. Like, I feel like if I. I don't get equal pay as me. Yeah. 
And some would say they're smarter than me. Some would say. I'm not gonna. I, I'm not saying nothing. Hey, damn, bro. What are you saying? Hey, some ain't just reading. What are, the, what are double standards to you, though? What are double standards to me? Definitely, it's def- the biggest one. The biggest one is race, gender, ethnicity, all of that stuff. Black people are more likely to be arrested than white people. White people are more likely to get the harsher punishments than white people. That's black or, uh, you know, Latino, Mexicans, or anything like that. We are the higher, you know, we're always higher. Uh, as far as men and women, or as you said, uh, men in pay, the ideals that women are, you know, you said the body count, which is, <laughs> it, which is true. I mean, it, it is true. We, we do look at it differently. Yeah. Um, the the look and appearance that, you, ever, you know. You ever have a theory on the body count? I'm sure you have. I'm yeah, of sure course. If you have it, I, yeah. I, I know I've said it. Yeah. Like, like, no, yeah, like women, women, have, women subtract. Most, no, women have to, women tell you a number, you multiply it by three. Yeah, well, women, you, no. I'm, you, I'm, tell, you tell, uh, you ask the man, you take three off of this. See, right there, that's already a double standard. Why do you multiply Three with a woman, but with because, a man, be, you have to take off three. Why can't you just divide three? No, because with most, because this is it, it was a study, and I watch I watch a lot of freaking videos for no reason, but I, a lot of a lot of studies. <laughs> you wonder what? And again, the question: How did we make it? I just know how to sell my time. But like I said, when I watch TV, you hear a lot of different studies, and they always say that women tend to lie about their number because they want to lie under. They understand the social aspects is that it's not going to be equal. So a woman's number is always going to be more because she tends to lie down. So yeah, bad choice of words with the lie down one. But (laughs) she tends to, um, she tends to undersell her actual number. Whereas with a man, he's going to oversell because the social aspects and the Ideas that men should have more numbers, so it makes him looks more. It make him look more appealing. So that's why it is the takeaway and add all of that stuff because it's just society. It's just the societal view of men and women. I personally don't agree with it because I don't think that it's fair. I believe everybody should be equal. I feel like you do the same job, you should get the same pay. But I also feel like one of the also biggest double standards between men and women are relationships. I personally believe that women have more double standards in a relationship <laughs> than men do. Yeah. Now that, do, now that we will agree on. I, and that's that, that's just what that, I feel. I do that. feel like I do feel like women get more leeway in the relationships as far as the double standards. And it's like what? And then too, why do men like the double standards? Do, do men, we have the pressure of having to make the first move. Every time. What is so wrong with a woman making the because that's not move? because that's not a woman's place and then <laughs> and then so, and, I'll, and some women are overly aggressive. Some women do not know well, that. Some men lie. are overly aggressive. And I agree to that. Though. We're equal. Yeah, We're that's equal. That's why I say I believe everything is equal. But I I mean it, it is what it is. When if you say what in a relationship, for instance, I, I'll give you a prime example. If a dude got if a dude has a girlfriend. And they go out to eat, and the waitress just smile. <laughs> oh, look at her. Look at her. What's she looking at you like that for? What's she smile at you That's for? That's why I don't make eye contact. <laughs> it don't matter. It don't even matter. <laughs> I, it, it does not if matter. You say something we, like, what's she smiling at you for? I'm like, I didn't even see it. No, we. I've I've tried that in the I, past. I, I it does stupid. not work. You play stupid. And Dude, you can I'm trying to tell you. That's why. That's why everybody <laughs> believes women are smarter than men because they ain't stupid. Women ain't stupid. We. They know I didn't we say see. They're it. stupid. I'm just saying. No, I play stupid. No, I can't because it's no I point. I didn't see nothing, baby. It is no point. <laughs> I didn't see nothing. She was smiling Dude. at me. Are you sure she was smiling at me? No, there's I no point. I didn't wear nothing nice on the day. No, there is no point. I'm trying to tell you. I've been out with like my girlfriend, my mom, and my sister. In all three of them, you're you're not even you're just not going to escape it when you got all three with you. Who she smiling at? Mm-hmm. Did you see that? Mm-hmm. I sure did. Right, she didn't she you been smiling at one of y'all? She might go that. Go I've tried that. 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 that don't work either. Nah, you the only person that get refills on your drink. Everybody else got a ass. She on you. I'm looking like. <laughs> 
bitch happened. I'm trying to tell yeah, you. Yeah, I can't go out with your people. I'm like, check, please. Yeah, <laughs> no, it's a wrap. Like, dude, I'm for it. Happened. We're going to McDonald's. But please. now let it, now let a male wait, let a male waiter come <laughs> over, and he cheese and he didn't get you extra cheesy bread and extra <laughs> sauce and all that other stuff. And I'm like, hey, what's going on? Don't nobody want him. Nobody even thinking about him. Whatever. You though. always so jealous. Don't nobody be saying nothing so when all the little waitresses be looking at you. Yes, you do. <laughs> we just had a full argument. Like I don't even know what happened. I just took the bread. I didn't even. I didn't even make eye contact. That's sad. But it happened. What about? You? What about you, Doug? With double standards. Honestly, you touched on all my points. I mean, I'm just saying. I think men get it harsher in relationships than women do. I definitely feel that way because the pressure's on the man to do everything first. Make the move first. When we ask you out on a date, no, not even ask you out on a date. Like, once we're in a relationship, do you want to go out and eat? What do you want to go out and eat? I don't know. Don't but know then you mean. make a suggestion. Okay, so what about, let's just say, Friday? Uh, I don't know. Go ahead and do it. Go ahead and do it. Man. Don't, even do it. don't even bring it up. And then, okay, do you have a taste? Okay, what do you have a taste for? I don't know. Are you hungry? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Media bologna, arguments. Bologna, bologna, bologna sandwich? No. <laughs> McDonald's? No, that's just, no. Okay. I hop. No. And this goes on for 30 minutes. I get to the point where I just go to sleep. <laughs> like, forget it, okay? But, oh, let, boy, let them pick one, though. Like, you want to go out somewhere to eat? Let's go to Friday. <laughs> like, the drink me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You're, you're a champ. You're a champ. You're a real MVP. Now, why? I'm going to ask you this question. Why? she seems like, I might be assuming and making an ass out of myself by assuming, <laughs> but she has that look like she's that girl when you ask her, where do you want to go out to eat? Or if you ask her if you're hungry, she say, yeah, I want to go out to eat. What you got to taste for? Huh? Why? I just want to know. I, you say that you're hungry. Y'all say y'all want something to eat. Why don't y'all ever know where y'all want to go? Oh, we don't know what we have a taste for at the moment. We're hungry. We just don't know what we want to So eat. in other words, just take, her her somewhere. just take her Just take her Yeah. Then why do you say no to everything that we suggest? <laughs> don't suggest anything. Don't suggest, just get in the just car drive. Just <laughs> Pull up to Fridays. Have no choice. Yeah, let's see how well that works. Pull up, pull up <laughs> Why'd you go here? Oh my God! Why? Why did you pull up here? You know good and well. I do not eat that like that. You know, I'm trying to watch my weight too. Now I'm what in that one? That oh my God! That's what I just oh my God! Oh my God! Don't the double standard with weight thing, the body image stuff. I don't feel it's fair because I feel like no side wins on that one. Nah, I think women definitely lose more than men. Well, this is, no, but this is why I say this. Because women are, I mean. No, this is why I say I don't feel either side wins with it. Because I feel women are more critical than, women are more critical of women than men are. Yeah, I feel. So, I don't, so, women to men, like, men care less about a female's body. Because if we came up and talked to you and you were, and you were heavy set. Yeah. That means we knew what we was getting when we walked yeah. up and said, what's up? Yeah. We saw, so clearly, something we saw, we liked. Now, if you was Kim Kardashian at first, and five years later, you turned out to be Precious. Okay, well, <laughs> well she lost weight, so I really can't nah, say that. I'm talking Precious. You talking about Precious, right. Precious. Okay, all right. Okay. The original. <laughs> you can't get mad when, I, when I'm saying, okay, like. No. I, but I can't get mad if she says, okay, hey, when I met you, you, you know, you was. In shape now, you just uh, a circular shape. Like I can't. It's I, yeah, uh, so I mean, it goes both I'll ways. I'm like, baby, you're right. You're right. You go but you know ways. what? You gotta love me for me. Shut you up. Learn how to talk to me. Shut <laughs> up. Because <laughs> you already know that it's not about that. Because if she say that, well, baby, you just gotta love me for me. You know, we this it, it doesn't it shouldn't matter what I look like. Every dude gonna get that look like. <laughs> but I mean, at some point, you from going from Kim Kardashian to Precious, there has to be some. In between, where do you have a conscience? <laughs> right. Yeah, like if she bring in a whole KFC bucket into the bed at night, I mean, I think nah, that no, no, I think that's no, 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 no. We fighting like that's a. I that's think a, something should be said. That's a fight. Know. Like you bring some chicken into the bedroom <laughs> and we just like, hey, it's a full bucket. You just sitting with it on your stomach. <laughs> 
Get out. No, nah, <laughs> we're going to the gym though, right now. We're signing up for 24 hours. We ain't even going to the right gym. Now. It's over. <laughs> nah, because there's something about it's your personality over. that I love. Nah, it's the one, it's the over. woman I fell in love with is you, in there. You, you may have eaten her, but she is there. Nah, she is just, in there. We're going to have to dig that half out. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to have to dig that half out. It's like, so we got to find her. You bringing bugs and stuff, potential <laughs> bugs in my bed and everything. I got a real phobia when it comes to bugs, bro. It's out. You done. I find somebody else with that same personality, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. You, all you got to do is get the chicken out the room. Well, no, we, man. You got to no, get the chicken out the room. No, right? no. Just say, just get the chicken out. No. You can't, don't lose a good woman. No. She may be she under. She ain't the good woman. I said she might be under 200 pounds. She might look. The good woman might be in there under all needs and all. Yeah. She's still good. But, okay, we, so we talking about I body. I love fat we're talking chicks, about by this. the way. I'm not trying to be discriminatory, but there's just certain, there's just certain, there's just certain lines you don't cross. And bringing a bucket of KFC, the family, the family size bucket in my room, in my bed, in the biscuits, in my bed. Why does why does everybody get a big meal like that? Like, can I get a diet coke? Like that balances. That's what I don't get either. I, I it balances. It makes, it makes a difference. It makes the conscious type thing. It makes you, them feel like you they ate your conscious. <laughs> the chicken eight wings and three drumsticks, and let me get a diet coke with that. Though, make sure it's diet. <laughs> makes them feel like they're they're not cheating on. You cheated. You uh, adulterer. You, you <laughs> cheated. You <laughs> left them. <laughs> committed adultery. Everything. That's pregnant by the other person. Right. I mean, you lied to me saying that it's mine, but it's really the chickens. Like it's not. <laughs> I'm just saying. It, but but I'm saying with the double standard thing. Is that fair though? Is it like fair that we sit here as dudes? And I'm being. I'm asking you. Is it fair that we as dudes like sit here and crack all these jokes about it? <laughs> But then it's like if we get around, like every girl kind of still like, I still love him and like all of that. Like, is it fair? Like, do you think that is fair? So meaning like women not like down talking to men for being yeah, certified? like like it's okay, like it's okay for us to like kind of get out of shape because we're just like the dude, but it's not fair for you. Like, is I, it... I don't think it's okay for. I mean, me personally, I don't. <laughs> I feel it goes the same way for me. I don't, it depends, like, I don't, I'm not doing the whole chicken and biscuits in the bed and all that, but I, <laughs> we're not going to handle that, we're, but I mean, I guess, uh, I don't know, I, deep down, I feel like women, they may not say it, but I think they still have a, some, somewhat of an issue there. It's gonna come out in an argument at some point. It's gonna come out, I know. but yeah. I guess it depends. Yeah, because I'm gonna get back at you. Man. Don't, tell me, <laughs> don't tell me I'm fat. Well, I got, I, I got, ish, I got ego issues now. You <laughs> tell me I'm fat, and I'm going in on everything on your weave thing. Like, I'm, I'm hitting, it's, I'm hitting you, you back. You paid two dollars for your weave. I right. saw it. Hey, look, <laughs> you had that same weave in for six weeks and washed it. Nothing staining my dead down pillow. But go ahead. How about the whole thing of um, in a relationship, females like the male friends and everything like that? What you mean? Like, I think it's more accepted somehow that females have guy friends than it is for a me? male to have female friends. <laughs> not about me. No, no we didn't know you. No so way. what if you knew them? When Before. you met, like if you like, oh, this is my childhood if, friend, and y'all they did an introduction. Like it wasn't like John if, popped up eight months. If into he, the if you're introduced, this is my thing. But if, if he was there before me, I try to play my post. Like okay, hey, I knew he was there, but it's certain stuff that's got to change. Like it can't right. be no <laughs> midnight phone call. Yeah, but see, but this is what I don't get with that though. I don't. <laughs> this is again the double standards in the relationship. I don't know how we stuck on this one, but I feel like it worked. <laughs> I kind of feel like women are just like, he's not going to do nothing. Like, oh, every dude that has no issue with sleeping with nobody. Like, it's, I I haven't really met too many dudes that turn down a lot of sex. It's there. It's always that possibility. Turn down a few in my day. <laughs> I'm trying so hard here, man. Come on, just down. rock with me. I'm turning turn down a few in my day. But I'm just saying. I mean, if you turn down, I've turned down. 
Right. Okay. Of course I turned down. Because look, I me mean, personally, you can't. You, in other words, I, you're saying it's impossible for a male and a female to be just friends without doing anything after a certain amount of time. Yeah. After a while, yeah. Because and this is what I'm saying. Because when somebody else comes in, when you when women see it from other women, mm -mm, she always too close. Nah, but when the dudes say it, it's the it, we see the same thing. Like we see it after a while. You, I don't give a crap how often you date other people. I don't care how often you bring other people around each other. It's a connection there. It's always going to be that connection of like, if something, if it's just a kiss, if it's just we hooked up once, it's always that possibility. I'm not saying that it's guaranteed. It's, and it depends on how close you are. It's the difference between like we hang out here and there. And then we're always together, that we know each other, that we built this special bond. So, like, nobody can quite penetrate this one thing. So, when you are a friend, like, dude to dude, like, your buddy's always going to know something about you that's like your girl ain't going to never know. He's always, it's always going to be that. And that. That's why it's easier, like, when girls have girlfriends, dudes have they boys and whatever. Because y'all know that ain't how, you know, I get down. You know, this ain't how she get down. So, it's just going to be that camaraderie. Because they always going to know a piece of you that they don't. When you got a dude and a girl, yeah, that's kind of different. Because when they know a piece of you that your mate don't, that's that's the kind of a scary part. Because they can use it and manipulate it. Especially, I'm being real. Like, a woman who, got, who is fine and, like, fixed. His type, yeah, no, because I'm watching everything that he do. I'm watching who he date. If you match up even a little bit, don't do it, bro. <laughs> don't. It's a line right there, bro. Don't. So even before they meet, I mean, before you meet the chick, if they already know each other, they know each other. Then it is what it is. I can't do nothing until. Until my until you see well it's until, you see until what my position is 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 what it is until we make my position what it is if we just talking what what am I gonna say to you this is this is your boy even if we start off date even when we start dating he's still been around five six you know six seven eight years now when it's you know we we got time as a relationship now I know he gonna know you in ways that I don't. And that's cool because he's been around. But when it gets to a point to where, okay, like every time I look up, he's here. Yeah. Every time I look I, up, like you I, got an issue, you ain't yeah. calling me, you calling him. Yeah. And like, if, like when you hit that point. That seems mad insecure, but I got to admit. <laughs> but I got to admit, I would, I would probably have an issue with that. Would a woman have an issue with that? Yeah. <laughs> that, sounds, that sounds mad insecure, but I mean, uh, I, don't I, guess, I guess I'll wear that one. It's not insecurity. It's just that when you're trying to build anything, when you're trying to build a relationship, you're trying to build something serious, the person that you but got. see, I just you. straight up ask, though. I just straight up ask. Just tell the truth. You fuck, you yeah. fuck. Let, yeah, how often does that happen? I know, but uh, I would you just feel? straight ask. Let, let's be honest. How often, how often does that does that truth really come out? Like, even if you did, like, let's be real, because let's be honest about this. It's not going to win either way. Yeah. You're not going to win either way. Because if it comes out, I mean, if like, it bothers me that much, or if I'm really bro, the question of it, bro, I'll ask it. Everybody, I don't give a crap how tough you are. Everybody got that fragile, got that fragile ego, and you're going to watch out the side of your eye. Because he got it. If, he, if she come out and be like, yeah, it was, we hooked up a couple of times. Like no, a couple times, a couple times, <laughs> a couple times. Now nah, that's going too far. One time, I can say no, okay. No, I can blow. Like, but can I, they be friends? If they, she's like, yeah, we way back in high school, we used to mess around. It depends on how long. You're right. How long? I'm about to say how long with high school. <laughs> like, like right now, at my age, yeah, no, nah, that wouldn't be a problem. Cause that would be what ten years ago. That's almost ten years ago. Yeah. Yeah. So I wouldn't. And he's still it. single, sniffing around, trying to be friends. Well, <laughs> That's what I'm yeah, saying. Cause I'm not, cause, yeah, because I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going constantly be doing text message checks. 
I'm not checking your text yeah. message. I ain't got that type of... It, it's <laughs> not, I'm not... I'm just... I got I an inkling. Yeah, yeah. It's right. not even that. It's just, <laughs> if I feel like I got to check your text messages and go through stuff, that's too. I'm too freaking lazy to do all of that. I'm just not going to lie. That's a, that's it's, I'm, I'm too lazy for it. <laughs> I tell people... Right. I'm, I'm a type just like this, and I've told every girl this. If you cheat on me, don't let me find out. They not. Don't let I, oh won't. we know oh uh, we know won't. that but I'm saying <laughs> don't let me find the out le- the only way that a woman and I I honestly say this is what I truly believe the only way a woman would cheat and get caught cheating is if she's dealing with a dude that is excuse my expression a bitch that's the only way because dudes don't really talk. Is that's why it's easy. I don't know. That's why it's. E- I mean, I they're not know. supposed to. I don't know. No, no this is why I say. To them these days. Yeah, yeah I'm about to say. If you, know, <laughs> you, go the, if you go by the blueprint, dudes don't really talk. Because as long as in scenario, as long as I'm getting something from this, and she can go home to her boyfriend, and I ain't got to deal with the headache afterwards. I'm not saying nothing to her. No. I get what I want. I mean, that's how. That's the. Yeah. That's the OG way. That's the original. That's the way. That's the way yeah, that's the original. That's the way but we knew how to do it though. Right. Like OGs and, and it, we're, by all means, we do not condone shit. <laughs> we do not condone this. But the the reality of it all is this though. OG way is yo, bro. You don't mess with you. If you got a girl, you don't mess with nobody in her family. You don't mess with none of the friends. Hey, what well, OGs did you know? Hey, <laughs> hey, well, they all, hey OG rules are broken. Yeah, well, I'm saying this is what I'm saying. Why? Well, yeah, OG. No, man. OG rules. Do you don't mess with nobody in the family because <laughs> if man. they get mad at each other, that's a, that's a hit. You don't you don't really deal. If you mess with a friend, you don't mess with the close friend. You mess with the chick that she. Hey, how you doing? You, you mess with them. The ones I know. Nah, bro. I'm trying to. <laughs> that's that's relatives, <laughs> mothers. I'm shit. Well, this is cousins. one, but it all counts out because everybody's too close. Everybody is way too. When you mess with somebody who is right there, it's only so long that they gonna just skip over the fact that y'all didn't cop googly eyes. Because depending on who it is, you going it's gonna be a reaction. Women pick up on that now. That double standard that <laughs> women pick up on stuff that men do not. I that goes definitely in y'all favor because y'all see, y'all see a hair out of place. And be like, mm-mm, nah, yeah, that, that's, mm-mm, that's no, true. she walking different. Hold on, <laughs> like it's it's something. Oh, oh man, I gotta talk to you about that off camera. <laughs> <laughs> something my fiance said about uh, said, hey. said the other day. Oh man! Hey. I was like, I didn't even know that that was even a real thing. I was like, for real, dude. Is but I'm saying a <laughs> woman, a woman can tell. A woman looks at another woman and can scope out anything. She can see it. It's like a, I, it's, it's women got like 32 different senses. I try not to get in. It, it's no longer <laughs> a sixth sense for a woman. It's like 32 of them. Ah, you try not to get into it. You as a man, you just try to keep your head down and just shut up. Don't get in trouble that day. You just take it day by day. When you that close, it's gonna come out. Cause soon as they get mad, whatever your man like it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Thank man. you. I appreciate that. But I don't know what she talking about. Right, dude. You got another boyfriend. She ain't talking about me, bro. I come swear, on, I play dumb. I I used to play that used straight to, dumb. That used, I used to. Play, I don't know what the. Fuck the only way about. dumb works is if you got a dumb chick. That's like yeah, the only way. I mean, they wasn't it, buying it, but she I'm, gonna be done. They right. Didn't buy it. They, they, they that's didn't, the only I way mean, it works. I mean, they didn't buy it, but I'm still not telling you the truth. Bro. It does. Like, I don't know what you're talking okay, about. Okay, well, fine then. Play dumb and see how long a good chick stick around. Wow. That, well, <laughs> you've known me for 10 years, buddy. <laughs> I'm just not kidding. Yeah, but I'm saying, though, dumb. Uh, the only way playing dumb really works is if, like, it's just you got that you got that girl who just swears to God that you just can't do no wrong. I've technically never met one. I've never messed with one. <laughs> I never cheated on none of mine either. But I'm just saying, like play it. You seen Deli? No. She can play you like Keanu. No, no fucking Keanu. <laughs> <laughs> you can play dumb if you want to. Keanu at the other house, like yeah. <laughs> you can play dumb if you want to. We just know it. Just I just know it's just not gonna work. I always said it like nobody this. said it was gonna work. I just what said, then hey, what's the point of playing it? It's said, a waste of time. I just said, that's what I don't get. Why like why even put yourself in that situation? Like that's if you don't want to be in a relationship, don't be in a relationship. And if you don't cheat, at least know how to do it and get away with it. Man, so and not get man. caught. I, I dated someone who was real sneaky and it just wasn't not even in a good way. 
Like, and I even... almost instantly found out. Because one, like you said, females talk. She had them all on Facebook. I'm that's like, what, what the hell? That's, that's what I tell my fiance. I'm like, listen, if I was cheating on you by now, you, you would know. know. You would out. know. You would know. It Women cannot out. keep their mouth closed. That's at all. all. You would definitely know. You getting a phone call, and I come in the car, jumping off the phone, oh, I was talking to my friend. What Cause I'm very, jumping for? Because I'm, cause I'm, I I'm, not, time. <laughs> I'm not forgetful, but I tried one time using a track phone. <laughs> Long time ago. I was like 20 years old. <laughs> Left it in the car, bro. No. Just went, in, I just went into the house for like a brief second, brief five minutes to say something to my mom. Came back take, out. It only takes women. I don't know what it, women get superpowers when they trying to go. And I couldn't even stuff. I couldn't even play dumb like that's one of your old phones. So <laughs> like the women get I superpowers. Can, like, here's the receipt. <laughs> <laughs> women get superpowers, bro. They get sneaky women go to a but she wasn't even being sneaky. It was just right there. And she knew my it always phone. comes out. It yeah. doesn't matter. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's, what I said. That's, why, that's why I say playing dumb really don't work. If I'm caught, I'm just caught. Like, I ain't even lying. <laughs> I'm not even about to try to come. Trying to come up with a lie and make it convincing is just way too much work. And then you got to remember your lie, too. And, that's, and I'm bad at that. Like, so it's just, it's too much going on. I got to go to work. I got to pay bills. I got to go to church that night. I got to remember what gig. I got to remember 15 songs. I got to learn six songs right now. It's not, it's, no. I'm caught. You got me. What are we going to do? I'm sorry. The immature me would just make it worse and worse because I'd be like, I'd say some dumb stuff. Be like, I'll fuck you. I want to talk to a lawyer. <laughs> I'm not saying nothing. No, that's good. I'm, when I'm caught, I'm caught. I know you talking to another chick. Yep. Mm -hmm. you don't know. It's not what you know. It's what you can prove. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that's, like, they let OJ. Don't do, don't they do let that. Y'all know OJ. Do did. not do that. We couldn't no, prove OJ. No, 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 no. <laughs> you don't ever give. Look. That's why I say just admit it because you never give a woman a reason. To go, to go investigate. I told you the young and dumb me did Dude, that. Nah, nigga, you stupid as hell. <laughs> nigga, you don't ever give a oh, woman yeah. a legit reason to go be an investigator. Yeah. If she look, just look. I knew just she didn't have money for a private investigator. I was like, she is. She, <laughs> she <laughs> is. She don't need the money. She <laughs> don't need is. I don't know what what do y'all teach. I don't know what y'all learn as as kids growing up. As I, Nancy yeah. Drew just messed up a whole freaking generation. Of men, because I'm trying to tell you, y'all just got to stick sense to this Yeah, stuff. and don't ever date a woman that watches investigative discovery. Man, I don't, cool. do I just don't want to, is, is, is that the name, is that the name of that? Why, and y'all do love a whole oh, bunch man. of crimes. SVU, like Criminal Law and Order. Yeah, yeah. like, like y'all, yeah, that's, that's where they get it from. <laughs> All of that stuff. This yeah. ain't got nothing to do with double standards, but we just talking about it because it hit. Yeah. Like, it's. That's why I'm scared to cheat on my fiance. She watches that investigative discovery thing where women kill their husbands. Yes. And they don't get yes. caught for like 10 years. Uh -uh. I'd be like, yo. I'd be like, why are you always watching this? Why are you watching this? Do I need to take my life insurance out or something? Like, what am I doing? What are you doing? Oh, we're just, why? It's just a good show. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Y'all want to tell you, if she just read it, look, baby, I'm going to cook for you today. Nah, we're going to get some pizza. We're going to get pizza. I've already got the letter written. If I die suddenly, the letter's written. But it's first suspect. <laughs> first suspect right there. <laughs> but I don't, I don't know. Because the double standard I hate, though, because we, since we brought it up, is cheating. The double standard is that men cheat more than women. I don't believe that. I believe men just get caught more than women. I think it's about equal, but I do think men get caught. I just think men get caught more than one. Because it's harder for a man. It's harder for a man to keep it quiet, like to keep the other woman no, quiet. It, Don't you let that other woman get pregnant? No, I. Uh, truth be told, I think differently yeah, though. Yeah. I think differently. I think because men, we're dumb. Like we cheat in close proximity. <laughs> Women cheat in ways that you don't really see. Like dudes will sleep with the girl that's like. That work the same shift as us, or she worked second shift. So to us, that's far. Date people that sleep. With but I'm saying I, we'll yeah, do that. We'll sleep with the babysitter. We'll sleep with the neighbor. We'll sleep with the chick at church that's married to your cousin. Like that's what we'll cheat with. You know? A woman <laughs> will cheat with the dude. Like she'll make you think she cheating with the dude that work with her all alone. She's sleeping with like the COO. Like you don't even see him at the company party. <laughs> 
She don't cheat with the neighbor next door. She cheat with like your old neighbor from two, three neighborhoods ago that you don't even talk to no more. You forgot she his name. Know who you was living there. Right. She don't remember. You don't remember we his moved, name. But right. You don't remember his name. She she messed with the gas station attendant in the other in the other town. Okay. Come on. I'm just let's saying. Some standards. I'm now. just. <laughs> nah, hey, hey, let's be. Hey, let's give. Let, every, let's hey, not make even, them all, uh, Hey, sometimes women undershoot. I'm just <laughs> saying. We got now. That's just look give, now. I mean, let's give them some standards. I'm just saying though. Let's. But being honest, that, like, women. I feel He's like dude, we're. We're, we're, we're. I'm just saying. He said the attendant too. He could have at least said the manager. I mean, damn. <laughs> hey, you got look. Some women undershoot. I'm just saying. We got. We got to say what it is. But I'm saying. I don't believe that. I believe that women cheat way more than men. Men are just dumber and we get caught more. Again, that goes back to my point earlier, though. Really? It's the only reason men get caught more is because of the other woman. Most men, I nah. will say probably 80 to, uh, I'm being generous, maybe 90% of the men that women cheat with, they're not going to say anything. You know why? Because no. she's going home to her dude no, no, and she's not no. in your hair. We, we got to wait. No, the reason why, that died <laughs> off in 99. I'm being real. It died off in 99. Well, we got a lot of bitches let's, living let's be, in here. Cause Let's be real, bro. Let's let's really be real. Even when we was in high school on no. Yeah, okay. It, yeah, it, you you had more dudes talking about, oh, man, dude, I got such and such. But that's different if they're single, if both are single. You talk no, 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 no. I'm talking we, about. No, because let's no. From high school on, we not. It may not have been the dudes that we were hanging with, but I bet five each of us could probably name about a good five different dudes that was creeping on the low and was talking more than the freaking female was. Mm, no, no, no. I don't hey. know any, but I'm pretty sure it was too. I know one off top that we. <laughs> So, I, I, I ain't saying that all we in high school, we, but I'm saying from high school on, it it became way more apparent. It became like dudes talk way more about it, and like it's not a bragging right. Like I don't like no, to me. I think that's like a real femaleish move. Like why would you? Why would you do that? Because I'm being real, dude. Like, Females do that. Like why would you do that? Females are starting to become the, the new dudes <laughs> around because they're starting to get a more y'all plots on it and attitudes for. Whoa. It's evolved. Oh, it's evolved, all right. <laughs> and again, I'm I'm going to another one. I got why can women evolve but men can't? What you mean by that? Like, you hear a lot of talk today about the modern day woman. Like we've always heard the modern day woman thing. Oh, you know, I'm a modern day woman. Oh my god, I don't have to stay at home. Like you, you brought it up. You said you feel like some men feel that women should stay in the kitchen barefoot, be pregnant, all that stuff. Well, that's that's saying that women have evolved. But if you ever pay attention, women never talk about men evolving. We've always been held to like that same standard. Well, what are we gonna evolve to? I just want to play. I, I want to hear what you think about that. I'm the, I'm just saying. I'm not saying that because we've already we already make more. We already go out and work. What are we gonna evolve to? Like stay at home. Dad? I'm saying we evolve more mentally. Like I don't feel like we are ex like what's expected of us has evolved. Like what else could it evolve to is what I'm wondering. Like what women else? going from the kitchen to a boardroom, that's a big But I'm saying but step. but I'm saying as far as men able to accept it but still require something else. Oh, you're saying you, you should be able to go to the boardroom and come home. Right. Well, I'm saying it should be that we are able to, like, I hear, I hate when a lot of women be like, well, he just want me to stay home and be barefoot. But that's not always the case. You got, like, me personally, go to work. We got to pay these bills. Right. I mean, but if, I'm I just can afford, if I can afford you to stay at home and, and barefoot in the kitchen and that's what you want to do. I mean, that's I that. But I'm saying, it, I'm saying if that's her choice, then that's one. But as a dude, like, I hate when a lot of females be like, well, you just want me to stay home. You you have all of these expectations of me, and that's, you know, not cool because I'm a modern-day woman. I shouldn't have to do this. Like, modern-day women don't do this, 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 and this no more. Right. The, it, the, like I said, the, the evolution. So who's supposed to cook, man? Just a question. Me for Both. I'm just saying, yeah, I mean, I, for me, this is why I say it's, it's easier for me to believe because, like, both of my parents, my mom worked, like, as long as I've been alive. Like, she's always been a worker. My dad has always been the same. So, when it came to the house and how stuff worked, 
he would he would tell us go to work. Like this is I knew what I was getting myself into when I met you when I married you. So we gonna do this thing together. Like we're going to work this house together. So my dad did laundry. My dad helped clean up the house. He did dishes. You know. So you're saying they can all be friends. And I think it's also depends on where they come from too. Like, I, my parents are married, and my mom, she worked, but when she had my last sister, she's been at home, and my dad's been working. So, I mean, I want to work, but... <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a choice, it depends, by all means. It depends on, I think, like, especially if you're dealing with a simple-minded female and or a male, like, they're, I, I don't know, I, I think you're a product of your environment, where you grew up, and how you grew up. Like, if you grew up in a house where your mother was barefoot in the kitchen, you're yeah, More than well, likely gonna feel like yeah, a well, woman should be. And sometimes you may want the opposite too. I'm not saying that's always the case, but in some instances, and like you deal with women who are people whose parents been out. I'm not gonna say hoeing. I mean, they've been out active, <laughs> doing a certain thing. They're younger, right? Just doing a different type of job, you know, stripping stuff like that. You you come across a female who really she, you know, I don't know what she she may want a man to just take care of her. Like I feel like. I don't know. I think the double standard goes both ways. Uh, it's hard to pinpoint these days, but I feel like this honestly. I, what I do, the things that I do, as far as like career interests and stuff like that, it requires me to do a billion different things. So personally, I could care less if she's in a boardroom, or now not just barefoot in the kitchen. That's one thing I can't have. Not at this point in my life. Give me about another five to ten years. That's what you want to do? Hey, I'm all for it. I encourage women, though, to always get education, get an education, and get a, at least get a career interest. Because anytime, if you depend on a man, and this is a man speaking as a man, anytime you depend on a man and you get married to him and you have nothing going for you other than the fact that you can cook, clean, and you out very well. Really, bro? I can wake up one morning. Really, bro? I can wake that's, up one morning wild. and decide I don't want you anymore because you're not the only woman in the world that can do that. And then you have nothing left. Like, you have nothing. You don't have a career. You don't have education. You don't have nothing. You're basically stuck out there. That, I mean, and that's just something, honestly, that I just started developing mentally after I had a daughter. I do not ever want my daughter to ever depend on a man unless it's me. Because I can't wake up in the morning and decide you're not my daughter anymore. A guy can wake up in the morning and decide I don't want you anymore and get out of my house. Yeah, but a dude can't wake up in the morning and say I don't want to take care of my daughter. Like He can, know. but... Yeah, but I mean, it wouldn't change. But I mean, you, you follow my... I don't know what you're saying. I'm just, <laughs> hey, my turn to get back. But, I'm just <laughs> but I encourage... And then on top of that, too... I think a real man respects women who have something going for them. Oh, most definitely. Yeah. Yeah. They most respect death. them more than they do the woman sitting at home barefoot. Well, it, it's, I don't think it's so much. Me that. personally, it, I respect I feel that. like I feel like it's a choice. I feel like your woman has to be fulfilled just as much as you want to be fulfilled. I feel like both people have to give and take. Like It has to be... A give and take thing. The only thing I don't like is it's like, all right, how can I say it? Well, it's like she can have certain expectations of him that remain in you know the what the man role is, but she can pick and choose what time it is. <laughs> what you feel? Be more specific. Like she don't want to be barefoot and pregnant. You want to evolve. You, you, and we, we, you know, you want to be able to evolve. Oh, I can do this. I'm independent. I can do this. I can do that. I can do this. I don't really need you for this. You can pick and choose when you want me to be the man, and then you want to pick and choose when it's more comfortable for you to be the evolved. You feel it's like you want you want to do what you want to do as long as it's cool for while you're doing it. But then, soon as a, soon as something happens, all of a sudden, well, you the man. Oh, now I'm the man. <laughs> oh, now I'm the man. That's why I say I, I'm cool with the modern day woman thing. I'm all fine for evolving. I'm, I'm, I'm great so with that. So in other words, you saying don't half step it, right? Don't do it. If you gonna do it, then do it. But yeah. this is this is the thing. 
you got to know, like, I hate this. <laughs> I've, I've talked about this a thousand times with different people, and it's like, every woman is serious. Like, well, I don't like that fact that, like, man is the head and all of that stuff. Like, because they go too far. Men go too far with it. That they don't understand. But it's like, well, then what are you getting a man for? What there are certain... So because a lot of women believe, like, some dudes go, like, hey, I'm the man, you the woman, so... That what means, I say, you're right. What I say goes. goes. Okay. Like, and it's and it's not. And those dudes don't understand to me. Like when you yeah. talk to them type of dudes, they don't really understand what how it is really supposed to work. Even when you quote Bible, when you quote anything, you really don't understand because even in the Bible, the Bible talks about how the sub, the husband is subjected to the wife, and the wife is subjected to the husband. That means you both got to come together and do this thing together. That's it's a we. You sacrifice the I for we. But yes, the husband is the head of the household, but it's still done together, if that makes sense. Right. So it's, it's certain, though he has dominion and he is the head, it's not a I control you type thing. It's not a you do what I say, dude, and that's it. There, you don't have no opinion, some you don't women, have no nothing. Some women take that too far themselves, though, like in favor of the man, like submissive. No, like you, a you lot of women them. feel like they are supposed to wait hand and foot for the male. Yeah, like even the, and I know some women that will, if a man told them to jump off a bridge, they do it. Some, and, and it's like it's you taking it too far. Like use common sense. Like, <laughs> yeah. like the, just use a little common sense. Like. If something doesn't, I tell my fiance all the time. Look, if I say something and it does not sound right to you, please tell me. Like, uh, don't tell me weeks, months later. Tell me right then yeah. and there if you don't agree with something. I'm not a dictator. Like, yeah. I'll work with you on it. Now, you might not change my mind about it, and we might agree to disagree. <laughs> we might agree to disagree, and you don't have to do it. Right. But at least voice it. Don't just follow everything. Because if I wanted to, if I wanted somebody that was gonna obey my every command, I go get a dog. But it, <laughs> in the same act, you like, some. But you also have some women who just feel like the man is just supposed to take care of them and whatever it is that they do. Like I've literally like taking I'm, care of it and then doing it, everything I do. Yeah. What well, what I mean is this: like they feel like they're not supposed to work. The man only the man is supposed to work. And he's supposed to feed all of their habits. So, like, if I like, if I want to go get, you know, plastic surgery, he's supposed to pay for it. If I want to go get my hair and nails done all of the time, and like I'm not working, I'm not contributing nothing. Whatever it is, if I got an expensive shopping, at, basically a sugar daddy. You had you had me until you said provide all their habits. Now I now I firmly do believe that. No. Overall, if a, if a man is supposed to Yo, provide no, 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 no. for his, you know, family. you're missing what I'm saying. Man. And now, now that's what yeah, I'm saying. You started yeah. out that, but then when you said, the yeah, habits, yeah, that's that happened. When I say that, like, I'm not like you have women be like, I'm not working because I ain't supposed to work, and you just gonna take care of me. So whatever it is that I want to do, so if I want to go I on a Jamaican safari you. or whatever it I is, take care of you, you need to supply that. I take care of you, but I and take you're care not offering nothing else. Like the only thing is, oh, well, I just look good and I'm with you. Okay, that's what my pit bull is for. I keep him looking good and he's always with me. Like that's I. What do I need another freaking human to just do that for? It's one thing if the, it's one thing like I said, even if. You stay at home and that's your decision or whatever, that's fine. But you got to contribute to what's going on. You still have to, we still going to make decisions together and all of that. Yeah, I'm bringing home the money, but we're still in this together. You still, you might be, well, you making the house run. If I, if, you know, you know that the bill need to be paid. You know when I get paid. You know how much I get paid. You know everything. So you're just as much a part of this house and doing everything because we're equal. You I'm just bringing on the paycheck, but we're making this house run together. Like, that's one thing, and that's her choice, and that's what you agree upon. It's another thing to be like, hey, I'm just quitting because you just need to take care of me. Right. Big difference. Like, uh, mom after every time I finish the test, my husband got, got two, two jobs. jobs. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is what it is. Now, question with that. Do you think a man is less of a man if his wife is doing the supporting. It depends on the circumstances. What you mean? So, 
if you just happen to lose your job and I got to hold, you know, handle things for a minute, then that's one thing. But if you just lose your whole drive, don't want to work, decide you just want to sit and wait for the game to come on with a beer in your hand until I get off work and not really yeah, help them with that. Yeah. <laughs> so that's, that's, yeah. That, that would look, I would say you would be less of a man, but just falling on hard times. I mean, things happen. No, I wouldn't say that. But uh, as a choice, yeah. And I mean, I feel the same way for like a woman. I don't feel like, just like you said, I don't feel like a woman should depend on it solely on a man. Like, I, that is just stupid. And especially you have to know who you're getting, you know, in the bed with anyway. So, yeah, please know that. Right? Please, please know. Because yeah. for you, like. Live in Indianapolis. Right, please. Yeah. <laughs> you got to do a please lot do of background checks. So, <laughs> you, I just, there's, sometimes there's not a big leap between, oh, when we first got together, you know, he was this or she was this. And now, all of a sudden, I mean, I guess it depends on the year and the time frame of the dating, but there are always little stuff that lead up to that big moment to where you realize, okay, this is just not what we agreed on when we got into it. This is not how things happen. <laughs> oh, that's, again, it goes back to the modern day woman thing, though, man. Like, it, where you see women, a lot of women, like, you agree, even men. Like, that, that's why I say it's the, it's the double standard thing. But is it, I'm trying to say, is it cool for it because a woman is constantly uh, constantly evolving as modern day women? When you make a decision to agree on something, like when you get married, to say, okay, hey, we're gonna spend this time, do this, this, you know, this is our allotted time for us to do us. But then, you know, we're gonna have a kid at this time. We're gonna start talking about this, that, and that. And then, as time go, the water plan changes. Mm -hmm. You know, because like it's a double standard there to me because it's like. As women evolve, like, like I said, we keep saying women evolving and all of that stuff, and it's like the, uh, like, as stuff goes and stuff grows, it's like, well, the plan's got to change because, you know, well, well, now I'm, I'm doing this, and I know that we said this, it's like, it's okay, almost, for the woman to do it because she's evolving, but it's like, when the dude wants to change it, well, he's, he's just being a stubborn jackass. <laughs> Right, he's being selfish. It's it's like the double standard to me, and I don't know how we st still stuck on relationship, but <laughs> it is what it, it is. It's a double standard. Right, that's what it is. is what it is. And there's so many of them. Right, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we're ever going to cover it all. But I'm just saying, it's it's like, is that cool? Is that okay? Like, what do you feel about that? I mean, no, it's not okay. Of course, it's not okay for one for it to be like, no, you have to accept that I don't want to do that anymore. But if you, you know, change the way we go and I'm upset and now you know I'm calling you out your name you're selfish and you know now you're just not the man that you used to be I'm not, <laughs> it's a bit of a dramatic change but I mean I mean it does happen I guess like it just depends on the people you're with that's what like I can't because me speaking for me personally I'm just I'm someone and it could be a bad thing and it could be a good thing I go with the flow to a certain extent now before like there are rules <laughs> We have a conversation about certain things beforehand, and if things start kind of, you know, getting a little off course, or, you know, I'm like, okay, well, maybe we need to have a round two of the conversation just so I know what's going on. I can let you know how I feel, but I guess it depends. Like, I think that women, when they get into a career that they really like and they're comfortable in life, I think that they may not always want to have a kid anymore, or they may not want to do certain things, or move the state, or whatever else was planned. And for a man, I feel like it works the same way. However, I don't know. For some reason, it is viewed different. I don't have the reasoning behind that, but <laughs> it is. <laughs> I don't know. No arguments there. It is. I mean, personally, it's just, if we agree on something beforehand, first of all, I don't like making plans. Yeah. I, I really don't. Because it, I mean, I just I just don't like making plans unless it's like a career thing. I don't like making plans. Things Life change. things, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna say I because I, I used to always say before I had my daughter, I cannot have kids until I'm thirty, and I'm only twenty six. So it's like, I mean, making plans, it's not gonna it does not work. So for one, making plans, you should never do that when yeah. it comes to that. When it comes to a relationship. It just doesn't doesn't work right for it. So I mean, that's where I stand on that. As far as like the double standards on women wanting to be 
I guess, wanting to evolve and everything. I don't normally, I don't necessarily have a problem with them saying, okay, you know, this is what I want to do. Now, to go back to your question, like, does it feel like, is, is a man less of a man for not working? Like, I'm with her on that one, where it comes to, if you follow hard times, that's one thing. I know some guys that's gotten laid off from jobs and stayed laid off on purpose <laughs> for six to six months to a good year and made their wife go to work doing stuff. Like I've known people like I've known people to actually stay home for more than a year. I've known guys that stay home and be dad. Like to me personally, I love my daughter, but I'm not staying home. Playing daddy daycare, I can't do that. I'm not, as a man, I, I I'm one of these people. I have a huge ego, and if something taps at my management, it's going to bother me to the point where it's going to annoy me, and it's going to aggravate me. And if I get aggravated, everybody around me is going to get aggravated because I'm going to constantly piss everybody off <laughs> to make them feel how I feel. So me being agitated, staying at home, depending on a woman, depending on anybody. Not gonna work. I don't think any man should be comfortable doing that. That's just my personal opinion. I don't think any man should feel comfortable living off of a woman. If you get laid off today, yo ass, if you got, if you don't have a car, you better be walking, filling out job applications. Like, I just don't feel like that's very manly to be depending on a woman. I mean, now circumstance, like you said, falling on hard times, getting laid off, whatever. That's one thing. But you need to be out actively right. searching. You don't need to be on the couch. You ain't got time to watch the game. Yeah, I shouldn't have you, to come home and be like, well, did you apply today for something? Yeah, like, that's you, not you, don't, you, don't have, you don't have time to fuck. That cable about to get cut right. off. Cause you, know, <laughs> so you, don't have, you don't have time to sit down and watch the game. You need to be out there working. You can't even be on the internet because right. the internet about to get cut off to the homeboy. So you need to be at the library filling out job apps. You need to be walking down the street at malls. You need to be going in the mall, walking in every store. Yo, you got a paper a, a application for me? You need to be doing that. You don't need to be sitting at home. Like, getting laid off is no excuse to be sitting at home. It's an excuse to be going out and doing what you need to do. So that's just how I feel about it. No man should be at home, why, especially why his woman is working. Like, no man. That's not, I mean, you get laid off, fine, but you need to be out there. Looking. I mean, I agree with that. Yeah, you need to be out there looking, plain and simple. I mean, I don't know. I, the planning thing in a relationship, when it comes to a marriage, is different to me. Because I feel like though you, though you will never have a, a, a solid plan because stuff does change, there is a premise that you fall on. It's like when you get married, there is a talk. There is a communication. There should be anyway. I'll put it to you that way. It should be a communication to see what you both want, to see when you both want it. Not to say that it's going to be a guarantee that it won't happen before, not that it won't happen after, but it at least needs to be the conversation of this is what we want. This is what we're trying to do. This is at least... A time frame of it. Yeah. I don't. I don't like I said. I don't think that you can ever necessarily just plan it. Right. January first, we're starting to make a baby. Right. I don't, I don't <laughs> think it's necessarily right that. when the ball drop. <laughs> right. I don't. I don't think it's necessarily that, but I do feel as if there's got to be a communication. There's got to be some type of timeline. Because if we set a timeline for everything else in our lives, why not for success in a marriage or success in a relationship? It's, I, I'm not saying, and I'm not saying that, like I said, it's, there's no guarantee that that timeline is going to go correct. There's, it's almost a guarantee that it's probably going to get fucked up. Right? Yeah, and that's fine. But I, I'm, and I'm not saying, and like I said, I'm not saying that it won't, I'm not saying that it will. But it's like to go in with no plan, to go in with no ideas, no type of direction is dangerous. Because that's true. I guess, it depends on what type of plan you're making, though. I mean, yeah, but I mean, it's still got to be a plan, though. You feel? It's like when you walking into something and you ain't got no idea. Like it's And that's cool. That's, and, oh, that's so romantic. Yeah, to an extent. 
Because you, if you going in and you really don't, you don't have no ideas of how you're going to try to be better the next day and the day after that, and it's cool with just winging it from time to time, but you got to have something. You got, you can't just sit here and say, oh, well, I want to be better. Like, like everybody sitting here. Yeah, we all came up with ideas to sit here and say, okay, hey, we want to do a podcast. We want to do a, a YouTube video. We want to do all of this stuff. Well, we're not just sitting here and just being like, oh, okay, we're just going to do it. Not. Nah, everybody is literally putting in something to make this better than what it was the week before. That's what we do because that's we want it to grow. We want it to be better. And that's our mindset, to be better than we were the week before. So we got the Twitter up. We got Vimeos up. We got YouTube up. We hear about the, like we're doing the pod, we're doing actual pod being while we're doing the live stream videos. We're going to share this video on everybody's site so everybody can watch it. So it's like we're doing everything to make this True 100 better next week, to get as much word as we can. What's going to be the difference in the relationship? We don't have a timeline. We can't put a timeline on what it is that we're about to do because we don't know how to... This video right here could go and blow up like that. Or it could take 100 videos before it hits. It may never. But it's an idea. We're still doing it. It's the same thing to me in a relationship. We got to have something. Some type of plan. Some type of work ethic. Some type of something. Even if it does not go according to what it is, it can go up and go back. But I mean, a plan, by me saying don't do, making plans is probably a bad idea. I mean, as far as, like, we're going to have a baby this time, and we're going to have a house this time, by this time, and that time. You don't know what that is. Now, a plan, like, honestly, this is something you should have even before you married it, especially if you're living together. This is how the dynamic works. We're going to split this in half. Where, you know, you gotta, I mean, you have to work, or either you don't have to work, speaking from the male's perspective. Like, I mean, it's just certain things, like, but certain certain things you plan for, like, to me, two things you should never, well, number one thing you should never, ever set out a plan for is kids. Because when it happens, it happens. Yeah. You, like, and then, um, and that one thing, a kid, can fuck up, I hate to say it this way, <laughs> but it can fuck up everything. Every plan yeah. you had laid yes. out right then yes. and there, all it takes is that one little seed to bit the egg. <laughs> and there you go. You're done. I mean, yeah. That, that well, we was gonna get a house next year. They just can't get that. We gotta pay. Yeah, but we gotta pay that hospital bill. Right? Pay that yeah. hospital bill. But, you, you know, but what you have you, and everything. But you, once you take them right, the necessary precautions. Those aren't always. I didn't. Me. Know my, daughter, my daughter was was conceived off birth control. I know for. I'm, a fact. I'm saying. <laughs> you no, know, what I'm saying is, if if you take, I'm saying we take the necessary precautions. There's, there are, there are always precautionary measures. Not saying that, again, some stuff beyond our control. God's will, it is what it is. Yeah. But also, as sometimes there is stuff that we can always do to okay. take the step to make sure that, it, like I said, the plan may not necessarily go ideally to the plan, like to like detail, detail, detail. I think but, the basic stuff you should plan. But with the more complicated stuff, like yeah, well that stuff, yeah, it just you you just need to let that you need to go with the flow. You just need to let it let it, it happen. For me, it's at least be somewhat prepared and ready for anything. You always got to be ready for anything. Even well, we ain't gonna have kids until a year after. Well, you gotta be ready just in case. Like you I'm, I'm that there, guy. You sitting up there on the honeymoon talking about all these plans you made, talking about we ain't gonna <laughs> have no kids till we thirty. She already pregnant. No, I, me. She pregnant. just got pregnant ten minutes ago. Yeah, but this is, <laughs> but, but this is my thing. When you are prepared, when you have that mindset to go in to say, yeah, this is the time, but we 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 got to be hitting just in case. Like I'm always a just in case guy. Like, that's how I always think. I always believe that anything can happen at any point in time. There is no, there is no amount of, there's your A plan, you got to have, I believe in having a B plan, C plan, D plan. I'm A through Z that's on one mine. Thing, that's one thing I was, I, I laugh at it because nah. I was always taught growing up, you never have a plan B because it takes away from plan A. Nah, and that nah. was a bad thing to follow. I, I just now no, breaking nah, that up. Nah. But, yeah. I, 
I I was taught Doc, look, man, you always got contingency plan just in case you because I'll be real, my plan my plan B's and C's sometimes pan out way better than plan A. Because you're prepared just in case. And I know people like, well, I, I put my all into plan A. Well, that's cool. But if plan A fails, which if you're not prepared for plan A failing, then you failed miserably. Because now you got to start all the way back over with plan A. Instead of saying, okay, hey, with plan B, plan B can help me get through until plan A can work. And I don't think people really think, and not to me, I think that's where a lot of this, a lot of misunderstandings come in. That's where a lot of different double standards and a lot of bad ideas, all that stuff comes in because people don't really plan for plan A failing. There's no plan B or there's no plan C. There's no nothing. It's just this one ideal and that's it. And I, and me personally, I don't, I don't feel like that works. It can't work. Teachers on dope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when we hit the dead silence, we know like that's it. So, the list of they have a whole list of different things women are judged more harshly than men. Go ahead and read a couple. Can you, can you can you name the number one just off the top? Oh, sorry. <laughs> to many partners, okay. women are judged more harshly than men. Number two would be having a messy home. Number three would be being overweight. Number four, being blunt or assertive. Now that is a big double standard to me. <laughs> yeah. Because if a man is blunt or assertive, he's looked as powerful, he's looked as strong, he's looked know. as this, that, and the third. If a woman is no, being blunt and assertive, she's a bitch. I don't know because yeah, now true. I don't know <laughs> that that yes. one we'll fight on because let's be honest, when we're blunt and assertive, we get called jackasses. We but we, we but, but see we don't care. We we actually like those those. Two. I ain't saying we don't live by it. But yeah. I'm just sitting there saying women we, women get more get women. It agitates women a lot more, like especially women like professional women. And they're blunt and assertive, and people will say, she looks like a bitch. I think it's kind of how you say it. It offends them. Like, if a man says it, if if a man is is blunt and assertive and everything and, and professionally, they'll say, they'll probably say, oh, he's such a freaking asshole. Like, and the dude will be like, yeah, they men wear the, <laughs> work, the ass, yeah, <laughs> men wear the asshole name with a badge of honor. Speaking as one myself. <laughs> I, I am a member of the CIA, the Certified International Assholes. Like, <laughs> I am that. Yeah, I, but, I can't lie. I we, but, women don't, but women do not appreciate that label term when they're being blunt and, assert, blunt and assertive. Because they're looked at as they're supposed to be more calm and professional. I, th- I think it's how you say it, though. It's, it's not what I don't think it even matters how you I, say I it. I do, because some, some women, man... Some women can be blunt and assertive, but they do it in a way that does not. They still get called bitch. Nah, I, no, I'm being because I've seen it. I'm being, I'm, I'm, I'm for real. It's your delivery. I feel like some people, yeah. it's some people, it's some women that can come out and just be like, look, you know, I believe that this is the right. You know, I believe that you you can do better. It's how you deliver it. Some people do. Some people are just complete and utter. They just gonna take it that way because that's just how they are. But then you just have some women who can just deliver it even to those people, and it's cool. Yeah. Then you just have some women that just pop off and like ah, ah you yeah yeah. It, I, I don't know that one. <laughs> I challenge I challenge it just simply for the fact because I believe on either side is how you deliver it. And then the last one would be not having children. Women are looked at as more selfish for not having children. They'll regret their decision, but a man don't have kids, boy, you're on top of the world. Like, <laughs> admit it. <laughs> no, yeah. no. Your okay. pockets is very nice right now. You have a kid. No. <laughs> I got a house. That is my kid. Like, my body, I got a house. That's my kid. Right now, trust me. But no, I, I don't know. I Again, because I think it's the day and age now. Because let's be real, shoot. 
you a mom at what, 16? Yeah, it's 17? Been that way. It's been that way. Yeah, but I'm saying, oh, though. Wow. If a chi- I'm I mean, it's real. just increased now if, with our generation. If, if I meet a girl, she doesn't have no kids, and she's my age or older, I'm kind of looking like, you What's are. with you? Right. Well, I'm not even <laughs> no, it's not that. I'm just, I'm just looking at you like, okay, wow, you you must really have a plan, or it's different. Like you hold yourself to a different standard, or or you or just, you just didn't get caught. Yeah. Like, or you just <laughs> took the necessary right. Or you in the hey. everything rolling in your face. Right. I'm just saying, <laughs> hey, you just did, or you didn't get bit by the bug. Like, hey, I can't. So, <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I don't know. I look at that kind of differently. Now I, I, I don't judge. Now, shoot, shoot, nowadays is more or less. Shoot, now you got six kids and you only twenty three. Yeah, no. And I have met <laughs> a chick who's like twenty three, twenty four, and she had three or four. Like it's. That's you know, the it. same guy. Do y'all, do y'all judge off that? I think that's a. I mean, no, I still look at a guy the same way. If he has like five kids by five different women. The women who have, I, <laughs> you know, what, that's something I never really deal. thought about. I, to be honest, that's something I never really thought about. Because you, because you look at a woman that got five kids by like four different dudes. Honestly, I don't even look at that as a negative thing. Because I mean, to me, any, I mean, now it depends on your lifestyle. <laughs> you see, <laughs> it depends on the, <laughs> yeah, you don't really know how to like that. Yeah, it, it depends you know, on your lifestyle. Like, because if I can tell you a little bit loose. <laughs> and everything like that, then I'm like, okay, <laughs> not like that, loose, but gotcha. but yeah, loose is loose, right. loose no, is loose. Right. Right. But they, I mean, if they dragging the floor, bro, that's a that's, you got to throw the flag on the plate. That's right. that's but offside. I, but, I, but I mean, like, offside. But I mean, like, if you got five kids, four different men. I mean, I can't really look at you in a harsh way because I mean, without knowing the situation, because I mean. One of them dudes could have been, could have been a serious relationship. Shit just didn't go right. Each one probably could have been a yeah. serious relationship on your end, just not no, to theirs. Their. That's that's why I said I, I look at now it that men way. now men that have multiple kids by different women. I'm just looking at you like, dog, you really just got around. Like yeah, yeah, you yeah, were, yeah. you wasn't in love. Yeah. Right. You were, well, and that's know. a double standard against men yeah. that a man has. Yeah. Yeah. I, like dog, you you was but I, you I got know. player of the year. You just but you was dumb with yours. Right? Yeah, well, hey, what? Well, yeah, yeah, no, <laughs> yes and no. This is why I say because some do. I mean, hey, do we get played too? Yeah. So yeah. you you could. Hey, I'm not saying I. Look, I'm just saying, do we get played? But five too? different women and five kids. Though, some some you didn't get played by hey, all of them. Sometimes, hey, some, <laughs> hey, some, hey, sometimes. Because after the, the first, because after the first two, you not let nobody back in like that. Hey, sometimes right. drunk, look, hey, <laughs> after the first one, you probably ain't gonna let nobody in for a good three years. Sometimes a drunken night is a bad thing. I'm just saying you. And if you get drunk that much, then that's a problem. That's five a problem. kids yeah. later. That, that's hey, I, that's I, a separate issue. You. I'm trying to look. I'm, I'm trying that, to play that devil's be, advocate that, here. You're that, not help. That would Nobody's be, helping me. That would, <laughs> that, would be, that would be one double standard that I would have to side on. Right. With yeah, because if you got five kids and four di- by four different men, we all know how emotional women are and how attached they get. So you could have been thinking one thing, like we know how hey. women can get blind over a hey. man. You could have been thinking hey. one thing, thinking we in a relationship and. Oh, I really love him, but it's been only a yeah. month. But <laughs> you still hey. felt like oh, we, we know we know how you feel about we know how women feel. A man is I mean, unless you're just a super emotional type of man, which I mean, you know, I have reservations about those right. guys. <laughs> Dude's like, what the fuck is wrong with you, dog? Right. Like, hey. But I, I'm just saying, it's more likely for a woman to have had seriousness with at least three of the four fathers. Yeah, well, yeah. it's well, unlikely. It's likely that a man I, probably has seriousness with one of those five baby mamas. <laughs> Maybe just one. It's more likely than that. I'm just speaking off for the guys that I know that got multiple. I, kids I can't. I'm kids. trying to argue with a part of me. Just yeah. like that. <laughs> just, no argument. We know. We know the truth. Yeah. We, we, we do kind of yeah. know how this goes. Yeah, like, it's like, it's like, <laughs> but I, I still would have to go with one of his family though. It's, 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 it, it is, because I feel like if you a hoe, you a hoe. Like, I don't, I don't really feel like male, that's a man or female. Male or female, yeah. That was, you can't take that back. You know, no, a, hoe is, a hoe is a hoe. Like, it, it rolls over. Pretty much. Each relationship. 
that and I see now that I do disagree with. <laughs> what you can you can always are you saying it rolls over in every relationship? Like yeah, you don't the whole change. History doesn't it doesn't erase. Like there's no. I mean, reset like, are you button. saying that you don't change or you just no, can't you can change, change the past. but you can't change. Oh, okay. No, you can't change the past. Yeah. but this is this is where I said I was about to like, say. We go no. out and every, I see everybody used to you know have sex with. I think like that's a bit much. You gotta what? But see, they shouldn't be letting you know that they. Sex with yeah, like, I mean, well, you this is well, this well, You should again, be like, you women talk, that, who's that? Baby? Women, I used to bang her. Women, yeah. women like, talk differently than That's men. Do, a, women talk a lot more than men, so a woman, I feel like a woman would bring it up more than a dude. If I just say I got history, just leave it alone. Yeah, but I, mean, I, I, feel, I, I, I personally, tell, I don't want to. I don't need to know tell, names tell, and tell, shit. I don't need to know all that. I, I, tell, just, my, <laughs> I tell my fiance, I had a life before you met me. Just right, it. let's leave it at that. <laughs> but I'm for real. Everybody's going to ask that one dumb question. How many? How many? If you are not ready for that answer, yeah, why ask? Do not <laughs> ask that question. Because I'm going to be. You feel. I'll, I'll tell you, I'll be like, do you want the pretty liar or the ugly truth? <laughs> no. Nah. What do you? Which, which no, because you got to tell the truth. I feel like you got to tell the truth. Yeah, it's all it. Yeah. I'm tell you nothing. I can just tell you. Well, I, I'm not a virgin. <laughs> hey, but this is. I'm I just mean, saying. It puts you in a bad spot because that. If you lie, it's bad. You're not gonna win. If you tell the truth, at least it's at least you got a shot at something. Nah, but I, some I feel, people's truth is a little too much. Hey, <laughs> but then my thing like, is, how many you think was about fifty? Oh, hey, no, yeah. I could have went without knowing that number. Yeah. <laughs> but then don't ask that question though. You got me personally. You got to prepare for like the worst possible answer. And the second answer, and the second question, I tell anybody: if you're not ready for these, if you are not ready for those answers, you bet not answer this question. And then they might not believe the answer anyway, even if it's possibly. Not true. But at the same time, I'll I'll give you benefit. I like I would get that pause. Like how many how many have you had? Oh, such and such. I don't ask. Man. I don't yeah, ask you. I I've I've learned not to do that. I don't. I, 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 I think I, I think I asked one time, and I didn't believe her anyway. So I was just like, I'll just never ask that. Yeah, that, it's I, like, but it's that's already out a, there though now. Me, cause to, gonna cause to, me, cause to me, that was a bullshit answer. It's like you're a lie. You, you lie. I'm not gonna think of you any less. It was before I met you. Nah, nah, so nah, I, I mean, just tell the truth. I, I asked ask that you. question. I'm not gonna. Lie. I asked. I asked the two worst possible freaking questions that anybody. Now, if you got a reputation and everybody knows you, yeah. Dude, I, I, I asked the worst. <laughs> I asked the worst two questions possible. What's your number? And the places you did it at. Worst freaking two questions to ask them. The boy. <laughs> the boy. That's, that's too much detail. Nah, yeah, I asked, I'm not going to lie. Detail. I asked that question and so, dude, it didn't. Yeah, I was just sitting thing. there like this. I will never answer that shit. <laughs> but, and I'm not calling her after this. this is so when do you ask those see. questions? The first day? The no, 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 no. <laughs> you, you, you ask when that talk comes yeah, up. You like, ask, you, yeah, you ask it when like this. Like that question comes up whenever that whenever that, that comfort topic. level hits. So yeah. for some people it may never hit, but I yeah. feel like if you hide it for too long, it's gonna cause a huge issue because you just hitting it for so long. You gotta come out and tell the truth at some point. But well, why even mention? I don't. Yeah, even, like I would. I don't because I'm, I'm, I'm like, how many people have you me been personally? Because I feel like we're just dumb enough. But to I guess ask, to ask I guess the it is, I guess it is a good question to ask because with so much stuff floating around, right. I mean, you do kind of want to know what you yeah, get into. But I'm gonna be. Real. Yeah, I just when was like, the last time you <coughs> checked out and? No, you ain't having sex. I guess that would be better, a, that would be a better question. Right? Yeah. <laughs> have, you been, have you been checked? Nah, but even with that, 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 that could be. Question. But I'm saying even so though, like I mean, even with those work, questions, urine tests, all that. <laughs> even with those I questions and answers, you question. you still you you still kind of be like. The better question would be: Have you been tested? Yeah, but that what does that mean? Like it, even when you be like when it's HIV, been, herpes. Right? Like, have you been? Really? But I'm, no, I'm saying <laughs> have you been tested? It. Have you been tested? Yeah. When? Oh, not that long ago. No, no, what no, is that? Like, what is, like, I need a month. <laughs> what like, is that? How many months ago was it? Oh, that was like two years ago. No, you will. Have you had sex it. since then? <laughs> oh, that right. would be when I asked. Right. But now, if you haven't had sex since then, okay, fine. You had sex two years no, ago. Let's be honest. Are we really going to believe that answer? 
Something now, not. this is one thing that I do <laughs> believe. No, women can hold out no. a lot longer no, than I men look, can. Look, hey, I'm not I saying that. that. that I'm so, if I'm not sure, sure, hey, depending on your get, personality, hey, I'm not and how we can. interact, I will, it depends on what I, I will look, believe. Look, look, I'm not going to sit here and say that a woman cannot hold out longer than a man because it's been proven. Yeah. But all I'm going to say is this, dude, even angels fell from heaven, bro. So, um, I mean, she, how long is long for her? You feel? Because uh, she could. I don't know. I, really, I mean, that's not, that's I really not a bad question to ask. When was but, the last time you asked Hey, this? but I'm being, <laughs> hey, I'm, man, I, I take everything with a grain of salt because it, it, it only takes once. To do it, yeah. It only takes once. And it don't show up, for, a lot of that stuff don't show up for a it, good couple years. It, 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 it only takes once. And so, for me, it's kind of like, I'm. I'm just always looking at you. Oh, it's been five years since I... Nah, nah, five years now. Uh, the, when you get this one from me... <laughs> unless you're you, a virgin, you I'm not going to believe it. You ain't made it no five years. You ain't about to tell me you ain't... You ain't. You had sex before and you ain't had it in five years and you just sitting here calm. You know, you <laughs> now, your chakras ain't in that much alignment. But I don't, I don't care how much yoga you is doing. Hey, you, know, you, you just lying. It's okay. We might not be there. <laughs> but okay, I feel like we this is we've had a good time on our tenth episode. I hope everybody has enjoyed it. I hope everybody uh, continues to tune in here on Podbean, here on Facebook. We're gonna keep going uh, on YouTube. We got like three cameras going here, so hopefully everything has fun. Hope everybody enjoyed themselves. Welcome yeah. to the True One Hundred <laughs> family. Yeah, it's like you're firm now. You ain't. You can't get out. Yeah. <laughs> so, well, I feel like this is a great place to stop. So we will catch everybody here next week with a different topic, and we are probably going to go even more ham on. So who knows what we're going to say next week? Why'd you tell me about it? Oh, it's going to be politics next week. Oh, it's going to be politics definitely next week. Because I just want to hear what he got to say about it. That's, that's all I care about. I just want to see what he say. Because it's him and it's Donald Trump. So it's just about to be all bad. It's just about to be all bad. We should just have like a separate segment. Uh, Rick, we're going to have Rick Bashes. That's what we, Rick, like a the segment. Rick Bash, the Savage Bash or something. I don't know. I'm, I'm just, I'm. Because he's about to cuss out Donald Trump badly. So please yeah, so do not let your kids watch. <laughs> do not let your kids listen or watch this episode. I got because. something for Hillary, too. He's, he's yeah, about I got some. I got some. Basically, what's too. about to happen is he's just about to cuss for, like, for whatever, however long we're I got on. Some, I got something for Hillary. However long we're Donald on Donald Trump is going to get most of the bullets. I might get. Um, I shouldn't say bullets. Yeah, nah, yeah. So, no. <laughs> Edit that. Now, please, everybody. Uh, all comments. I am not Rick, shooting all comments, anybody. All comments. Uh, Ricky I Sav, don't even own a gun. Rick, Ricky Sav nine on uh, Twitter. <laughs> Ricky Savage I, on Facebook. I shouldn't say that. So he's yeah, he's pretty much going to cuss them out for like the whole hour. So please do not let kids under thirteen watch this I show. I wouldn't even let kids. If you're under eighteen, I wouldn't even advise you to even. Do, yeah, do not do not let your kids who are not but thirteen. I'm biting my nails cuss. right now because I'm just that so anxious. Just <laughs> thinking about it irritates me. Well, that is this podcast, ladies and gentlemen, because he's not about to cuss and make me lose all my daggone friends on Facebook. You know, my mom watches them. So <laughs> yeah, so maybe we shouldn't talk about politics. We're going. We're talking what about politics. What you think, Mrs. Adams? Do you we're think we should <laughs> talk politics? I don't think we should. Personally, I don't think we should. But your son here. This has been True 100 with me. <laughs> with me. And so any words that I say. He Thank is you, ladies and gentlemen. For we we will uh, hopefully see. Hopefully for tune in next week for politics. I and, will have a disclaimer. And a savage bash. Thank you. I will have a disclaimer. I will write Thank, down a disclaimer. Thank you, and we are out. Thank you. Thank you, and this has been True 100. We are out. Thank you. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have a disclaimer.